Hello students, this is Deepon, a faculty here in Chinta. Today, we are going to discuss a question which came in Singapore Math Olympiad 2023 in the junior section in the round 2. The question is really interesting. It will ask you about two prime numbers and make up another prime number just writing one after another. Let's get into the question to understand it in a better way. Here is the question. Two distinct two-digit prime numbers, P and Q, can be written one after the other in two different ways to form two four-digit numbers. For example, 11 and 13. One number in this way you can make, you can make 1113 and another is 1311. If the two four-digit numbers formed are both divisible by the average value of P and Q. Find all possible pairs of PQ. So it's really an interesting question. More interesting part of it, it is everything is given and you can understand entirely. There is nothing that you are facing difficulty to understand. But how to solve it? That's the target here. So to solve this question, What's the first approach we can take? Let's first focus on the average value of P and Q. Of course, we need to know what is P and what is Q. That's the ultimate goal of this question. But first, let's start with the given information. First information. Both P and Q are two-digit. primes so that's very interesting because we know that's a very small set so what would be their average their average is p plus q divided by 2 now let's try to make a lower bound and, a, and an upper bound of this let's take a range let's try to make a range within which we can try that out. So, the least P and Q can be, okay, without loss of generality, we can assume P is less than Q because they are different. So, one of them has to be less than the other. So, what is the least prime or the least P can be? 11, the smallest two-digit prime number. Next is 13 and the largest can be 89 and 97. So P plus Q upon 2 should lie in between these two. So it's going to be 24 by 2 and this is going to be 89 plus 97 would be uh, 8, 9 plus 7, 16, 1 in carry, 17, 18, 186 upon 2. So there we come, it is 12 less or equal to P plus Q upon 2 less or equal to 93. So, this number, it has to be greater than 12 and less than 93. But it, this is not going to help us in a very good way because it's a great range. So, let's see what we can do now. So, the numbers are PQ or QP. That the we have to write one after the other so in other words the number we will obtain that would be 100 p plus q and this is gonna be 100 q plus p because p is a two digit number and so uh, so as q what we can do right now it is given that both of them PQ 
and Hugh P. Both of them are is divisible. by this here we're going to use a theorem in number theory that states for example let's call them this is uh, A this is B if B is divisible by P plus Q upon 2 then 100 B is divisible by P plus Q by 2 as well so why I asked you that, eventually you will understand. Hundred B. What's that? Hundred times hundred Q plus P. And this gonna be um let's not write that big number ten power four Q plus 100 P on the other hand I'm getting two numbers one is this another one is A if both the numbers are divisible by P plus Q upon 2 that directly implies their difference is going to be divisible by P plus Q upon 2 as well let's use it so 10 power 4 Q plus 100 P minus E which was 100 P minus Q so we are getting this is going to be cancelled out so this is 9999 9, 9, 9, Q so in one case we are successful till now that Reducing one unknown. Now, as per our assumption, this is going to be divisible by P plus Q upon 2. Here, observe very carefully that I am stating that P plus Q upon 2 divides 9999 9, 9, Q. Definitely, as I'm assuming P is less than Q, then P plus Q upon 2 gonna be less than Q as well. If for two different numbers, if I'm finding the average of those two numbers, they are gonna be lesser than the larger number, for sure. So in that case, I would be able to say Q a and this number, this average number of P and Q has to be co-primed to each other because Q being a prime number that indicates P plus Q by 2 divides 9999 9, 9. good so we actually concluded a lot of things till now let's do something regarding these four nines. 9999. Nine, nine, nine. So, the first thing came out in our mind should be prime factorization. What is 9999? Nine, nine, nine? Okay, this is divisible by 11 for sure. And 9 as well. So, let's try with 3 square times 1111. One, one, one. Okay, so 3 square times 11 times uh, it's going to be 101. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now we are almost at the phase of conclusion. So, what gonna be P plus Q upon 2? What are the 
conditions, extra conditions, we should remember that T plus Q, P and Q, both of them are two digit numbers. And let's proceed with that. So, what are the factors of it? One. Oh, one is not needed. Okay, let's write in. One. Three. Nine. Eleven. Thirty-three. Next one will be ninety-nine. And they're going to be something else, but that is not required because average of two two-digit number has to be another two-digit number. It cannot be anything else. So our required thing is in between them. Even more, interestingly, it has to be a two-digit number. So like this. Why? Because at the beginning, we found this relation. That it has to be like that. So that means 11 is not going to be the thing. So either 33 or 99. So let's try the... Oh, there is another thing. It The upper bound was 93. So it's not going to be 99. It has to be 33. So we actually concluded. P plus Q upon 2 is equal to 33. So that gave us... P plus Q equals 66. So, sum of two two-digit prime number is 66. So, now we have to check whichever pairs of PQ is fulfilling the criteria. Let's start with 11. 11, 55. No, 11 is a prime, but 55 is a not. So, 11... Next 13. 13 with it makes it 43. 13 with it, it makes 53, which is a prime. So it's a possible pair. Next, uh, next to 13 is 17. 17 with it, um, 49. 49 is not a prime number. Next, gonna be 19. 19, it has to be 47, another pair. 47 is a prime, we know that. Next, 23, with 23, it has to be 43, another pair. Next, 29, 29 with 37, another pair. Next, gonna be 31, 31 with this 35, I guess. Yeah, 35. But 35 is not definitely not a prime number. So that's it. So that means four pairs and the other way around of this. So total eight ordered pairs we can get that is fulfilling the given conditions. So this is what the solution of this question and it's not a unique solution. So maybe you get another solution, maybe more elegant solution. Let me know in the comments. And if you find something more beautiful insights from this question, let me know about that as well. Hope to see you in the next video and continue to do good mathematics. Bye.